drive. It's going to be about bringing down a um, aluminum pan. But, you know, they just went with one pan to put in the Thinking about stuff I haven't seen since my second year of fourth grade. Oh, really? What is that? Well, stuff from my childhood and stuff I saw in TV and movies. Well, did you enjoy it? Or did you change the channel? No. Well, I think I enjoyed it or something, well, but. It's okay to reminisce. No. Well, I hadn't thought about that in years. Well, you know how Lindsay and Emily watch The Wizard of Oz every year? Yeah. Well, that's called reminiscing kind of re remembering and re enjoying something that happened in the past. And it's perfectly healthy. People do it. It's like when guys get together. When I was a kid I mostly liked bad T V shows and movies and all the uh, old sixties and seventies type stuff. You mean bad in quality or you know, Japanese stuff, Wizard of Oz, uh, well, Wizard DC of Oz, comics, class. stuff like that. Okay. All those, all those classic cartoons I used to watch when I was a kid. Yeah, well that's okay. Yeah, one of the uh, reasons that I want to play Will and Skytop together is it's a nice little family tradition I would like to start. You will love it. It has two swimming pools, a half a dozen billiard rooms, ice cream parlors, restaurants by the gazillion, everything you like.
not like you know, they don't have wings or they don't fly and all that, but kind of picture Touch by an Angel, dude. They're kind of like that. They don't have wings and they don't fly and. What? You don't worry me? Oh, and all of these things. That stuff is really gross. Anyway, I know what these things. There's something out there that's telling me to keep all hush hush about this. There's something that something that's telling me to keep quiet about this. Who knows? What? You don't believe me? I'm sorry. How else could I convince you? I know what these things. You see, I used to do plays out place called the Joys and Farm Center, but. After that, I got into puppet shows and been doing that ever since. You see, after I did my first play, The Stingiest Man Town, I got the idea about doing puppet shows for birthday parties and um, local events. After that, I've been doing puppet shows for doing that ever since. What? You don't believe me? I'm serious. Um. Anyway, I kind of got visited by this angel. See, I used to be this, this kid. Bad kid. I messed with the wrong guy and look what happened. I don't work with this guy. They're nice and all that. They treat me like dirt. I'm working with this woman. They're nice and all that, but they treat me like dirt. What? You don't believe me? Well, I even saw this. Santa Claus land one time. Real deal, red suit and all. And it was really big, big, really big, massive building. Anyway, kind of like a huge gingerbread house. Anyway, or some sort of castle or something. Anyway, huge, massive snow. It's hard to describe. Older than this house. Anyway, weather on that date, December 17th, 1984, was snowy. Snow on the ground, ice in the roads. Ice in the roads. Clouds in the sky. I know about these things. I'm serious! Anyway, there was no moon. I'm serious. I don't drink. My friends don't drink. My parents hardly drink. I don't smoke either or take drugs. I have I'm not under the under the influence of drugs or anything. I could probably draw a picture of that of that that building, even with the snow and all that. It was kind of like a castle. It was an old-fashioned building. Kind of... 16th century style. You don't see those types of buildings around here anymore. Kind of European. You see more modern buildings right here now. Anyway, um... Um... Serious. Anyway, this angel, he said his name was Russell, and he wanted to redeem me, and changed my life for better, and 